So, what we can see is that N, the normal reaction, is going to equal <coughs> WY. Yeah, this WY, see that there? WY. Which we said is W cos theta. We've got that. For friction, well, the friction is going to resist this sliding. So this is going down. The only thing that's causing this to slide, the only thing that's causing this to go down is this value here, Wx, also known as W... Uh, sorry, the friction value is friction times N. Yeah, friction times N. So F equals mu N. If we substitute N, we get F equals mu N. Yeah, that's our friction value. Right? Wx is also causing it to is causing it to go in the opposite direction. Yeah, so Wx is this here. W sine theta is Wx. What we know is that the force, the pulling force or pushing force that needs to push or pull this, this boat is going to be equal to Wx plus the friction. That's all we have, Wx plus the friction. Right? So are we okay with that? So the forces in the horizontal, it forces in our x direction, right? The force in the total force in the x direction is going to be equal Wx, and it's either going to have plus or minus friction. Is that okay? Now the thing is, often with boats, what we're going to need is we're going to have tension on a rope. It's almost always tension on a rope that causes. We don't usually push a boat. We usually have a rope that pulls it up, and that tension. Thank you, paying attention. That tension on a rope, that tension on a rope, we're going to use the letter T. So, what did we say um, Wx was equal to? Mg sine theta, right? Yeah. Too many guys. You see it, you can start to see it. Now, we then have to do plus or minus Mg cos theta. But remember, because it's friction equals the normal times mu, we have to put a mu in there. So I'm going to put a mu, mg brackets mu cos theta. Yeah? Now, what we can do is we can simplify this. We can factorize. I don't know if you've, you've done factorizing yet. Okay, factorizing. See how there's an mg both times? We can say t equals mg brackets, and we take the mg away both times. So what we get is sine theta plus or minus mu cos theta. And that brings us our too many guys formula. Now, that's a bit confusing to remember. So I have a little story that I'm going to tell you to remember. Can you still see the red dot in that camera? Yeah. Excellent. Okay. So my friend, when I was, uh, I spent a year in Lyon when I was studying, studying there, right? I had, went there with my friend Disco. And... I was married at the time, but he wanted to go to the nightclubs. And there in Lyon, all the best nightclubs were on boats. Anyway, so one day we went to, to this nightclub and it was on a boat. And we get there and there were too many guys, or too many girls if you want to change the story, if you want to gender swap it, right? That's fine, but too many guys. Anyway, so already he wasn't having a great time. My friend Disco is pretty tall, he's like 6'2", or whatever, and boats are usually pretty low because you want to save money. And... He's like, oh, there's too many guys here, you can't talk to any women, which is kind of the reason why people go to nightclubs. And then he turned around and he hit his head on a sign. And so now he's having a really bad night because he's hit his head on this sign. And then, just to make things really bad, right, this is easily the worst part of the night, is then this guy sneezed on him and he got mucos on him. Yeah, mucus. Yeah, like when he sneezes, he gets snot. Snot, mucus. You get it? Yeah, okay, great. I just, you weren't laughing, so I wasn't sure that you got it. Okay, so let's now go back to one of these questions and we'll apply our too many guys formula and we'll see. Now, the question is, do we add or subtract? Keep in mind, the work that you need to do on your rope, on your tension on your rope, you got to think, is friction helping me or is friction hurting me? If you want to stop something from rolling down the hill, friction is your friend. Your car is broken down, you don't have any brakes, and you're like, oh my god, what am I going to do? Right? What you're going to do is you're hoping friction's going to help you enough that your car's not going to roll down and crash into the cars below. Right? On the other hand, when you're trying to pull a boat out of the water, you're like, ah, goddamn friction, you're stopping me from pulling my boat out of the water. Yeah? So if friction is making your life harder, you add friction. Right? Whereas if friction is making your job easier, minus friction. Right? The idea is it's always the opposite of what you'd want. Um, well, 
No, that's not entirely true. If your car is going to crash into other people, you want friction. I, I take that back. Okay. So let's see what question we're up to. Okay. We've done the fundamentals. What we've said is mu equals 0.25, theta equals 20 degrees, mg equals 90, sorry, m equals 90, therefore mg equals 950. So we see T is the cable tension. TMG, too many guys, sine theta, mu cos theta. Okay, so we substitute in T equals T equals 950 brackets sine sine 20. Are we adding or subtracting? Are we, is, okay, think about it. So what we're doing, you have to read the question for this. You have to read the question. It's really important. The rope required to move the crank up the ramp. Okay, so I'm trying to pull the rope up the cramp. Is friction's adding, it's making me do more work. Friction is making me do more work, so we're going to add. Okay, so then we have mu, which mu we've already calculated is 0 0.25 cos theta. Now, sorry, cos 20. Okay, I've already calculated these as being 0 0.34 plus... 0 0.23, which is going to equal 950 brackets 0 0.57, yeah that's right, 57, which equals 524. Now, two marks, that took, should have taken you three minutes. I can tell you without the too many guys formula, a lot of people take a lot more than three minutes. Yeah, because they just, they just, they look at it and they just don't know what to do. And I will tell you that these formulas are not on the formula sheet. That's why I have to tell you this ridiculous story about disco getting sneezed on. Yeah? Okay. You still at the red light? Yeah. Okay. So, let's go through this one together. Get your calculators out, and let's get cracking. First of all, I'm going to write my formula. T equals mg cos, uh, sorry, sine theta. The sine happens first. It doesn't really matter, but sine theta plus or minus mu cos theta. Okay. Again, this is a punsism. I don't know if anyone else uses this. Okay, so what we've got is, we need to know mg. Well, m is 150, mg equals 1,500 newtons. Uh, theta equals 25 degrees, that's going to make this pain. That's a shame because I like things which are easy. Um, okay, so what we've got here is, t equals... 1500 brackets sine 25. Okay, sine 0.25, wait, no, sine 25, that's what it is. Sine 25 equals 0 0.42. Now, Calculate the tensile force in the cable at this point, the coefficient between the crate. Okay, so this is tough. I really don't know which way they're going to go. And I'm reading the question. It's used to pull a, cr a, a crate up onto the vehicle. At the point of sliding up. So it's, it wants to go up. Does that mean friction is helping or hurting? Hey. Yeah, so it's adding to the friction. Okay, 
mu. Zero point two standard bar. Sorry, thank you. Okay. So cos twenty five is almost one. That makes sense. Okay, um, it's a bit bigger than point eight six, and then I'm timesing that by mu, which is point three. I get zero point two seven. Okay, that's what I get. Now, you'll notice I skipped over part of this question. It said, it wants us to show on this diagram where friction is. So if we're sliding up, we say friction is pushing against us. We have the normal is perpendicular like that, and that weight is that way. And that's what it wanted you to show on the question. Yes. You could write friction on this side, that's fine. If you wanted to write friction here, you, you won't lose marks for that. Okay, but conceptually that's important. Okay, so I, I didn't check this. Um, I will check it really quickly. Okay, so that's how they've shown it in the answer sheet. Pretty similar to what I showed. And the answer is... Uh, they got 102. It's close. Close enough that I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, they multiply by 9.8. That's why. I use 10, they use 9.8. That's absolutely fine. When we look at it as a percentage, it's off by uh, about less than 2%. You know, 2% is the amount that it's out, which is when you use gravity, that's the amount you're going to be out. Okay, uh, we've got another boat. I think this is the quintessential boat. This is the boat that I first started looking at. This is from 2014 paper. Hopefully I've got the answer for this one ready. Yeah, I took the man, Luke. Past Luke figuring it out. Okay. I could have left the formula. Okay. T equals mg, too many guys, sine theta plus or minus mu cos theta. Okay, calculate the force um, to prevent the, just to prevent the boat from slipping. Right, it says here, just to prevent the boat from slipping. We, all we want to do is prevent the boat from slipping. So in that case, we're going, friction is going to be stopping the thing from slipping. It means we're going to need less force. Yeah, the boat's going to need less force because friction isn't trying to, we're not pulling it up. Friction's like, oh yeah, good work, friction. Imagine you're not that strong and you're like, oh, thank you, friction, for helping me. Right, so in this case, we're going to minus. So what is our mg is, we, m is 1.3 tons, which is 1,000 kilograms. Therefore, mg equals 13,000 newtons. So we could at this point write answers in kilonewtons. Right, so we're going to write 13 kg, kn, not kg, kn. Okay, what is the coefficient of friction? 0.3. It's interesting it says it there, oh it says it here, okay, mu equals 0 0.3. Uh, what else do we need? What's the angle? 20 degrees, they love 20 degrees. I, you know, here I was saying it's always 20 to 30, but okay. That's actually pretty close to the last question we did, but it's good to, to do these things again from scratch. Okay, so what we've got is T equals 13 kilonewtons sine 20 minus mu, which is 0 0.3 brackets, or we can just write cos uh, 20. All right, let's see. Okay. Did I put my phone down? I did. 0.3 cos 20 equals 0.28 and then I'm going to say sine 20 sine 20 0.3 
minus 0.28 gives me 0 0.06 times 13,000 newtons equals, so I'm going to add, I'm going to write it in this 13,000 because our answer is going to be 806 newtons. Okay, then the next part of this is they want us to calculate power. We haven't done that yet. We haven't studied power yet. So we're going to do that in our next session, right, when we do power. We have an up, we're not to pay. Just checking, we're still recording? Yeah. Okay. So for us so far, the answer is 0.8 kilonewtons. Sorry, 8 kilonewtons. I'm getting that out by um, a factor of 10. Okay. I don't like that I'm out by a factor of 10, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to check my answers. So what we know is that F, they've written F, we want T, that's the same idea, that they have, what's the friction? Friction component is this number here. Yeah, this is the friction component. So friction, T equals friction, and then they've said minus, minus, and they've minus, um, they've minus sine. So they've minus, yeah, mg sine theta. Okay, so what we've got here for friction is, it, um, mu R N, so, so, yeah, so it's mu, and then R N is going to be mg cos theta. So we're timesing that by 13,000 times cos theta, which is 20. Okay, so let's take that. 13,000 cos 20 equals 12,000 times 0.3 equals 3.6 kilonewtons. And then they've said minus, and we've said mg sine theta. So mg sine theta is um, 13,000 sine 20. So 13, 1, 2, 3 sine 20 equals. 4.4, yeah, okay, I have done something wrong because this number is bigger than that number. I've done something wrong here. Um, okay, and then when they take those numbers, wait, yeah, it's bigger.
Don't worry guys, I got it right. Don't worry everybody. The second question, in the second question when you're pulling it up, you have to add them. In the second question when you're pulling it up the ramp, you have to add them because that's the effort for the, for the winch to pull it up. But if you look, I was looking at the wrong question. Ha! Huh. I bet everyone in the video is like really in suspense there, thinking, oh man, what's going wrong? But anyway, it's good to see that we did get the same values and that, um, yeah. uh, I like my way better. When I, sometimes when I look at the HSC answers, I'm like, what are you thinking? My way, too many guys, easy to remember. I think we're pretty close to the end. I'll just check, maybe have one more. Oh, okay, so we've got one more, and the fact is, I'm not going to go through this one, because I think this one, it's not really the question you're likely to get. And I try to focus on okay. questions that are common. So this question here is the 2003 question, and we have a, a roller. I'm going to say, if you want to learn this question, Aoni and Eureka Engineering, I'm happy to give him a view. Uh, go check that one out. So uh, that's my my recommendation for you. Okay, with that we're done with friction.